What's up guys? Welcome to G Whiskey. My name is Jeff. This is a channel where I offer my thoughts and opinions on a specific whiskey and every once in a while throw on other whiskey related content. Today we're doing something different. I'm going to give you guys a list. This is five YouTubers that I think you guys should check out in 2023. Stick around. Okay, so we're talking about Whiskey Tube today, and I'm going to give you guys five channels that I consider to be up and coming. They're channels that I would recommend you check out in 2023. Uh, these are people who are putting out quality content, and they're channels that I watch myself. Now, I'm sure we all know about the big boys on Whiskey Tube already. I'm talking guys like Roy at Aquavita, I'm talking Ralphie, First Fill Whiskey. These guys are already very big, very well established channels. They've got plenty of subs, and they don't need a little guy like me hyping them up. Uh, they're obviously big for a reason, and it's deserved. But for today, I want to focus more on some smaller channels, the ones that, again, I would consider to be up-and-comers. They're putting in the work, they're putting out great content, and I do think they deserve more followers. These are all channels with interesting people with great whiskey sensibilities, even if they are a little bit different from mine. Uh, I just enjoy their content, I enjoy watching their channels. Uh, one thing here is that I'm not going to order this, so there's no particular order to the way I'm going to name these people off. I don't want to rank them, I like them all for different reasons, I think they all bring their own style and approach to whiskey tube. Finally, stick around after the list, I do have a mystery port in my glass, I'll let you know what that is. It's a random whiskey, it's not related to tonight's subject because the subject itself doesn't really lend itself to a particular whiskey, so I just grabbed something off my shelf that I felt like drinking tonight, and coincidentally it's also the next whiskey that I'll be reviewing on the channel. And I guess that's all our housekeeping done. Let's jump into our list. These are five whiskey tubers that I consider to be up and comers. In the meantime, if you'll kindly leave a like down below, that'd be greatly appreciated. I do want to start things off with some honorable mentions because there's, of course, more than five good whiskey tube channels out there. And these are just a few extras that I want to recommend to you guys before we jump into it. Uh, there's John over at Just Whiskey. There's another John at Whiskey Neighbor. There's Gert over at Whiskey Lover Society. We have Wade over at McIntyre's Malts, great up and coming channel. We have Jen and Rachel over at the Grail Dune. And finally, I do want to mention Roy, even though I already did. I did say I wanted to focus more on smaller channels, but the thing about Roy is I think he's done more than pretty much anyone else to foster a sense of supportive community, not just between us whiskey tubers, but I think for the online whiskey community on the whole. He's been very encouraging and very supportive of my channel since I was much, much smaller. So I guess you saw some potential there. Uh, and I know I'm not the only channel that he's helped along. So Roy, thank you so much for everything you do. And all right, let's move into the proper list. All right, so I want to kick things off with a channel that I started watching well over a year ago. And he quickly became one of my favorites. Uh, this is a channel that focuses a little bit more on budget-friendly offerings, although this guy does dabble in a bit of everything. I'm talking about Shane over at Whiskey Lock. I think this guy has a very savvy palette. Wait, can palettes be savvy? Yes, they can, and he's got one. Beyond just the magnificent beard, which is magnificent, uh, I think he's got excellent taste in whiskey. I think he understands whiskey very well. Um, he's not afraid to be honest and call out bullshit when he sees it, whether it's like silly or disingenuous marketing or just bad whiskey. He's critical, he's thoughtful, he's analytical, he's insightful, he's everything you'd want in a good whiskey tuber. Not only that, his channel comes completely free of any snobbery and his videos are always very informative. He's also got much more technical knowledge about the history and production of whiskey than you'll find on most other channels and that includes my channel. Uh, he's got an experimental streak, he's done videos where he tried his own chill filtration, he's done videos where he made his own blends, so he does spice it up a bit. But still, the bulk of what he puts out on the channel is going to be whiskey reviews, and they're always just really well done, so Shane, keep doing what you're doing, man, you have a great channel. Guys, I would encourage you all to go check out Whiskey Lock. Next up, we've got Jim or the Whiskey Novice. I believe he's over in Northern Ireland, if I'm not mistaken. Um, he's got one of the more consistent whiskey channels on YouTube and he knows his whiskey, he's honest, he speaks his mind, and I think he's got a nice balance to his channel. What I mean by that is that on the one hand, a lot of Jim's reviews are very sort of like raw and unscripted. He's just kind of talking uh, and that's the polar opposite of what I do here on my channel. Like if I don't make notes and have a few like talking points ready to go, I'm going to have all the charm of a plank of wood. But that's not Jim. Jim's always got something to say. He talks from the heart. He kind of goes off the cuff. And I think that's a lot of his appeal. 
And I think he balances that natural organic way of talking about whiskey with a pretty modern, slick, and professional look to his videos. Like he's got this rotating bottle thing going on in the background. I think it looks fantastic. So again, it's very like from the heart and off the cuff, but it's also very professional. But most importantly, like everyone else on this list, Jim knows whiskey. In fact, more than knows whiskey, he loves whiskey. Like you can tell he loves talking about whiskey. He's passionate about it. Finally, I like the, if you like that, try this part of his video. That's where he recommends whiskeys that are similar to the whiskey that he's talking about. If you want to explore more in that kind of like flavor direction, uh, Jim, great channel. Guys, go check him out. Next up, we've got another channel that I think is absolutely killing it. And I think he deserves way more subs than he currently has. Uh, based in Turkey, I'm talking about the whiskey enthusiast. And this guy was giving us quality stuff pretty much straight out the gate. He reviews and talks about a wide variety of whiskeys, and you can tell there's plenty of knowledge and experience going into the channel. Um, his reviews are quick, interesting, informative, he's got a good setup, he's comfortable on camera, just a good all-round whiskey channel. So I would love to see his channel grow, I'd love to see it keep growing, I want more content from this guy. So again, I would encourage you guys all to go check out his channel. If you like the videos, if you like the content, give him a like, give him a sub. Um, I'm sure I'm pronouncing this wrong, but Sertug? Keep up the great work. Next up, we've got one of the slickest, sleekest, and most well-edited channels this side of First Fill. This guy's channel has surged in popularity over the last year or so, and it's pretty clear why. I'm talking about Ben over at The Whiskey Diary. And of course, this channel is not all slick editing and presentation. This is clearly a passion project for him. And that's a, that's a theme you'll find across all of these recommendations. Like, this is not something you'll do for the big bucks. You do it because you love whiskey. Big bucks, no. Whiskey, yes. Big bucks, no. Like me, he loves his lists. He's got a variety of different types of videos on his channel. He's got experimental stuff. He's got informative stuff. He's done distillery tours. But the core of his channel is just really solid whiskey reviews. He's got a great eye for bang for buck whiskeys or value whiskeys, which is definitely something we can all appreciate these days. He's got a very energetic and enthusiastic on-screen presence. Uh, ben, keep doing what you're doing. You've got a great channel. All right, so next up and last on our list, we've got Tabs, or the Malt Activist. This guy has done such a good job of setting himself apart, and I think that just comes down to his charm. Uh, he's friendly, he's relaxed, he's funny, and behind all that, you can tell that he's got this huge wealth of knowledge about whiskey. I remember reading reviews that he'd written on a whiskey site called Connoisseur like 10 or 12 years back. Uh, his whiskey YouTube channel has been around for quite some time, but there was a while that he wasn't really posting very consistently. It does seem like he's back nowadays. It seems like his posts have become much more consistent and his videos are just loads of fun to watch. Like me, he loves his list. He does a variety of different types of videos on his channel. He's not afraid of getting controversial at times. I think he's got a great setup. I like the simple and clean way that he edits his videos. Uh, so it's got a great look. It's very watchable and he knows his shit. And I guess I just like that this guy's an entertainer. He doesn't take himself too seriously. And, you know, it can be very easy to get very heavy and cynical when we're talking about whiskey, and there's always good reasons for it. But ultimately, whiskey should be fun. And if you're not having fun, why are you here? Anyway, sorry, that was preachy. The point is, uh, his channel is very casual. There's no formality, there's no pomp. It feels like you're just having this casual conversation with a friend who loves his whiskey. And I think that's how it should be. Anyway. Tabs, man, you seem like you're a lot of fun to drink with. Let's grab a drink sometime. Uh, I believe you're based in Dubai. I'm here in Taiwan, but when we're globetrotting, jet-setting, multi-millionaire YouTubers, let's make that happen. Guys, check out Malt Activist. All right, that is it. That's our list. Uh, sorry if I missed anyone. I know there are plenty of other fantastic whiskey tubers out there. Whiskey tube is a big place. Uh, these are just some of the ones that I enjoy watching these days. Uh, but of course, I would encourage you all to go out there and kind of shop around and find the, the whiskey tubers that suit your tastes, your sensibilities, and just the people you like watching. Anyway, uh, I know some of you stuck around to find out what the mystery pour is here in my glass. I've got a great whiskey here with me. What I'm drinking is the Jig Sinclair Series Rioja Cask Finish. Guys, this is a really fun whiskey, and it will also be the subject of my next review, which will be dropping, I guess, on Monday? or Tuesday, whenever I get around to it. Should probably schedule these things better. And I guess that's a wrap on today's video. As usual, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to help support the channel, I do have a Patreon. Otherwise, you guys can like, comment, and subscribe. 
always appreciated and i guess we'll catch you next time bye guys